So we're now going to look at option C uh, beyond just opening the file for it and see whether we can uh, calculate the totals. So the first thing really that um, I want to consider is um, what is it exactly asking for? So it talks about appointing three points for a win, um, but it says it must only include players who have won at least one match. So we've got to figure out how we just get those players who have won at least one match. We know we can do the printing because we've done that before. We just use a for loop and charge through or iterate through um, each row one at a time. So if we have a look at the how the um, file data is given to us, we've got the player's nickname, we've got the number of matches that they've played, the number of matches that they've won, so this is really what we're looking for. So what we want to find is um, all of the people who do don't have a zero really in the um, matches one, because that's how we could probably find um, those who have won at least one match. Um, and then we've got to do some stuff with the uh, points um, and we've got matches lost um, as the last element. So let's uh, let's just set up our for loop to charge through all of the data. So again, we just we can just use a temporary variable in all results this time. Uh, feels a bit weird to call it something else, but there we go. So well, there's a an if condition. So I want to find out whether some part of this. Um, does not equal to zero. That's really what we're looking at. So if we have a look at the data here, what we're, what the ma match is one is the second to last one. So we've got element one or, or zero actually, and element one, element number two. So we're really looking to see whether element number two, so whether temp two is not equal to uh, a zero. And the reason we're calculating it this way is because the data is given to us as a string. So we have to um, check that the data is um, a string. We could go through and change um, temp2 to int um, uh, temp2 and then we could compare that but the easiest way is really to say, um, just don't give me any which say zero with it, um, in them. So let's just print out uh, everything in temp, which means it'll just print each row as a list and see whether that bit works. Okay, so that's all we're testing at the moment is will it give me all of the results which don't have zero in them? Um, and then we'll uh, check that against the file, because if that bit works, then we can sort out the printing. So I've just saved and run the program, and now I'm just going to call option C, which later on is going to be part of our um, menu. So here are the uh, results that I've got. So I need to know whether this is correct. Um, I can't find any with zero next to their name. But let me just open up uh, the results file. I just want to make sure that there isn't anything odd going on. So this is the results file. So this person should be missing. Um, and in fact, that looks to me as if it's the only one. Um, so that should not be in my results. So as we can see, yeah, we don't have um, the third person uh, nickname Teflon appearing there. So that looks okay uh, in terms of the results that we get. But then the other thing we want to pay attention to is we need to work out uh, the points for um, each of the matches that have been won. So what we need to do is we need to multiply whatever's in matches one by the number of points um, and then display those. So let's see how we're going to tackle that bit in our program. 
So again, this time to make it easier, I'm going to use the same technique that we used at the top there, which is just label these things so that they're easier to work with. So let me just comment out this line here. And then um, on the same level, I'm just going to say something like, uh, so we've got the uh, a nickname, we've got um, we've got the number of matches uh, played in total. Then we've got one, then we've got lost, and all of that is equal to temp. So we've got zero, uh, one, two, three, four things. One, two, three, four things. And I'm just going to double check. So we've got the nickname, the number played, the number one, the number lost. So let's just make sure that that's right. The nickname, the number played, the number one, and the number lost. Okay, so we're going to assign these actual names to all of this. Um, and then what we'd like uh, printed... Oh no, we're, we're going to calculate the points next. And so, um, so one of the things that we can do here, because the points are three, so we could just put three at the top there. Um, maybe that's a good name for it, or maybe it's not a good name at the moment. Uh, but we'll see when we construct the rest of this program. <clears throat> so firstly, let's just get these headings printed outside of our for loop so that they're always there and we know what we're doing. So I'm just going to pause this while I do that quickly. So I've just put the heading at the top here and just so I can see the order in which things need, need to be printed and where I have to print the points. And so we can just come down here and have a print statement. So the order in which we're going to print this is obviously the first nickname, which I've stored in a variable called Nick. We then want played one lost in that order. Um, and then we need the total number of points, and that is by taking the games that they've won and multiplying that by three. For the games that they've won is a string, so what we're going to do is we're going to say convert the games won into an integer and then multiply that by points or multiply it by three you can put the put you can just type in three there so i'm going to print out all this information and then i'm going to print out the number of games won multiplied by points and so let's save and run this so let's uh, call option c now and see what that does and it does indeed calculate the total points and print them there so there's quite a few people with uh, uh, um, 21 points and then the one with the highest number of points um, uh, looks to be 27 at the moment so there's uh, quite a lot that could be done to space these out a, uh, a bit better but I'm just going to go back and read the requirements um, and so uh, calculate the points total for each player and display them in a leaderboard so I'm assuming that if we're going to display things in a leaderboard then it means that we want the highest points at the top and then the lowest points at the bottom. Um, this bit we now know how to do. Um, this bit we have done by using an if, um, and this is the format that we're trying to follow. So really the next thing for us to think about is whether we can sort the data um, rather than just printing it without any order to it can we sort the data um, and then print it all in um, one go? So for that, um, we'll, le uh, we'll leave this video here for now and we'll think about that in the next video.